Hello my dear health seekers, it's Inga and Mark. Hi guys. And this is part three of the ultimate UK vegan burger test, right? So many burgers. <laughs> so many burgers. I'm so, so tired right now and hot because I've been uh, pan frying some of them. I've been um, oven baking some of them. Oh my goodness, it was military, military operation like no other. So we've got 12, I don't even have enough fingers on the hands. <laughs> 12 burgers to um, taste test for you and um, what I did this time right I've added all your favorites that you told me in the vegan groups that they are your favorites so I scouted I've, um, I've scouted all you know the shops that you said that was an operation in itself um, and then got um, pretty much all that I wanted to get from the burgers so um, I think I'm gonna tell you what we're trying as we try this time we're not going to do blind testing we'll just see what we're eating and we'll see what it tastes yeah, like it's going to be too confusing otherwise yeah so i've put it them all 12 in the, you know in the sequence so that we know and don't get confused okay so let's start let's do it um so let's go for number one and number one is um the oomph burger okay so that was one of the mentions um, so let me cut a piece here and we can taste test it for you. Here we go. So here goes. Mm. Mm. I like that. It's nice. It reminds me of the No Bull Burgers. Yeah, it's, it's got, it's got a, a bit of sweet, uh, sweetness in the taste a bit. Even the texture. The well. texture of it, yeah. I think the, uh, the no bull burger is a bit thicker, but yeah. that's actually larger. wider and thinner. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, I like that. It's good. Yeah. Whoever it's suggested good. that, well done. It's a good suggestion. Right. So next is our winner from last time, Naked Glory Quarter Pounder. Okay. So this time I fried it actually because apparently it's best fried. So um, let's try this one. I think it's better if I cut it that way and then half it there. So, oh, 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 water. Good thinking. Right, so here you go, Naked Glory. Mm. That just puts a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah that's so good mm. it is good it's smooth the texture it doesn't have gritty bits right yeah but it's not it's not as if it's got no texture it's oh like no mush, it's, it's quite know? substantial it's, it's, it's but substantial yeah but it's smooth you know mm. loving so, it so <laughs> mark is loving it mm. Mm. i think it'll be so hard for us to judge yeah. oh my goodness because i think there's so many of your favorites lined up then i think you, you've given us a hard time here <laughs> or we have given us ourselves a hard task mm. but we're up to it i certainly am yeah we're definitely gonna give our best go so then the third one is a bird's eye green cuisine mm. okay so okay. that was a mention um a few times so let me Try that one. Mr. Bird's Eye. Okay. So let's try this one. Decent texture. Wow. It's a bit drier. Mm hmm. It's but it's dry. also, it's almost got a fishiness to it. I was going to say, it's I can feel, I can taste a little bit of peas or something yeah something like that it's it, it it's almost fishy for me for me it's got peas you know like yellow mm. split peas that kind of flavor at the back uh, yeah perhaps mm. that maybe you think of like fish that way i know what yellow split peas taste like though and that's not it okay right so, so that's not as good as the first two definitely it's, it's, not 
It's not a burgery taste. Yeah, it is quite thing. dry. I mean, I must say, I didn't put additional oil, whether it was frying or baking. So this is whatever they came in, whatever fat it came in. That's all I did. So this is quite dryish mm. um, compared. I mean, I won't say that's. It's it's not like a bad not taste bad. or anything like that. It's just different. different it's not what yeah. you expect, and it kind of hits not you quite up. a traditional burger yeah, type. It's not a traditional burger taste. So. Then the fourth um, is Lidl Plant Menu No Beef Burgers, okay, because that was mentioned as well. Let's do it. So let's try this one. Lidl. Lidl, yeah. Smells like a burger. Oh, wow, that's good. The initial flavor is good. Mm, something's not working for me. But afterwards, you get a bit of aftertaste of... It's... Yeah, what is that? It's got quite a bit of grittiness, like a texture as well as the first one. The, the texture is good as a, you know, as a burger texture. More grittiness. It's not like a smooth yeah. burger, but the like initial, more chewy one. The initial bite... It's was really nice, good. But then it, it kind of develops this, this weird taste at the back of your mouth. It's not that bad, but I think also some kind of legumes or something I can kind of taste yeah, possibly. a little bit. It's kind of similar to the bird's eye in that way, although that one I feel is a bit stronger than the bird's eye like in taste -wise. I think I prefer that one, yeah, definitely, if, if compared the, the two. But, um, but yeah, not quite. I'm not, not a fan quite, of that one myself. Yeah, not quite the burgers we're after. Mm hmm Okay. Mm. So these burgers, we're not going to eat them obviously tonight. This is going to last us a few days. <laughs> a few days, you know, putting in different dishes and reheating and having, we'll have a couple tonight, you know, probably uh, with uh, burger buns and, um, and all the trimmings. But um, this is the Number fifth. Number five, yeah. Noble quarter pounders. So this is a noble burger here. So we know this one's good because we've had this one obviously before. It's yeah. Been the other tests. However, so. we'll see how it lines up against the other two. Yeah. And especially the first one, actually, because I said it was quite like that one. Yeah. Hmm. That's very similar. Very similar to the first one. Hmm. It's almost identical if it weren't for the thickness. Like, yeah. You feel as though you're kind of, there's more in a bite. Um, it's nice though. It's nice, it's lovely. Mm. It's nice. I have caramelized the, the uh, oh, surface quite a bit. That's the, something stuck in my tooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> caramelized the surface quite a bit because I've pan fried this as it, I think, recommended it. Or did I pan fry it? Can't remember now. Anyway, but the surface is a little bit caramelized, like, you know, so it's got a little bit of a crust, but inside is just the usual um, noble burger. So that is a good one. All right, so number six, Grow the Incredible Burger. So this is from Co-op, In, interestingly mm. enough. So I had to like track, track to, um, to find a Co-op that had that burger. Luckily they had it. I didn't know Co-op did a burger actually. So that's, that's quite an interesting little, mm -hmm. little tidbit. Um, so this is number six. Number six, Grow, G-R-O. Grow the, the Incredible, incredible burger. burger, yeah. So. That's on the firmer side as well. Mm, yeah, certainly got a lot of texture. Now that's quite mm. nice. Nice. That's nice, yeah. But it's, it's got, got a little bit of sweetness. Mm hmm. Got a bit a similar actually to the no bull in a sweetness kind of way. I actually think that's a little bit sweeter. Mm. Myself. Oh, it is good. Yeah. Guys, yeah, whoever said that the the incredible um, the incredible burger from Co-op is good, mm. it's yeah. good. Good choice, yeah. Mmm, wow, yummy. Also caramelized on the on the outside um, somehow. So. Right. What's next? So next number seven, Vivera. So I found a Vivera steak, right? Mm. Um, Are these so from Sainsbury's? Sainsbury's Vivera found, yeah. Um, so we're gonna try that one. Lovely. 
We have never tried a Vivera steak and somebody mentioned Vivera steak, I think, as well. Mm. Six, seven, number seven. And it's quite a, like a well-known brand as well. Looks like a lot of oils come out of that one. No, I've had it different places. So, uh, okay. um, so Forget it might. <laughs> no, it's, um, yeah. So let's just taste test this one. Okay. Again, quite firm. Seems quite dense. Quite thin, but it's quite dense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite a thin burger it is, as it comes quite wide. Well, no. no, it's a nice flavor. It's what is that? I recognize that flavor. It's very. It, it's got a, a lot of sweetness to it. It's quite spiced. It's got a lot of yeah. spices in it. It's almost a, a, like a Chinese coriandery or something. Yeah, something they would use in like Chinese, Chinese five spice Chinese, maybe. Yes, exactly. Chinese five spice, kind of like that flavor. Uh huh. Um, I agree. But not quite your, it's quite, actually it's got a bit of pepper. Mm. It's got a hit to my back. tongue. At the back, yeah. It's quite spicy, I think. It's not quite what, what you would expect for the flavor of a burger. Yeah. Um, it's more like a kind of, um, almost like you say, yeah, Indian-ish like, kind Indian, of, yeah. yeah. And it's got like quite a bit of pepper at the end as well. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Um, mm -hmm. You know. I'll definitely be having a few more bites of it. Yeah. But it's not what I, not what I expected from a burger no. flavor. So now the Beyond. Beyond seems to be everybody's favorite, right? Or most people's favorite. So, and you liked it. Uh, last before. time I tried it, it was good. It was so this time I actually gave it a fair run on the uh, frying pan because that's how they recommend it. Not in the oven like last time. So um, this is pan fried Beyond burger. Oh, it's nice and it seems like still nice and juicy. If I remember, this was the most burgerish in terms of texture. Um, I think I put it down for flavor because it seemed quite bland. Compared Not to quite others. bland, but yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean compared to the other ones, you know, it mm -hmm. still had flavor, but it wasn't wasn't as much. I didn't like the grittiness of it, and yeah, I can taste that little bits of grit, like the first and the whichever other one, the bits of mm. of grittiness. I don't like that. Yeah. So I'd definitely say that it's the most like meat. Definitely, mm -hmm. you do get that a slight oiliness when you when you're eating it, mm -hmm. and it does have those kind of bits of crispy bits. So I can deal with them because they're not really too. They're not like chewy. You, you yeah, quite like chewy. chewy. Look, I've, I've got them still in my mouth. Well, I don't think they're that chewy. I mean, because I just bite straight through them. But you, you that's can't the most them. chewy bits that I've found so far in these burgers. Oh yeah, though. definitely. I mean, it's the most noticeable ones. Definitely, yeah. So, so, so that's the Beyond. It's definitely the most meaty, meaty though. If you like, you know, if that's what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, then. Um, so then, number nine, we've got fries. Um, the big fry burger. Mm. So you know you get fries. I think it's an American brand. I remember having some um, They did kind of like meat like almost beef-esque strips of meat in, a, in like a tub mm -hmm. They did it in a stir fry once and they were actually quite good. Yeah, so I'm wondering if the burger is on the same. So this is number nine line. Okay So let's give this a go All right, okay All right again decent texture Quite, quite dense, actually. Spices, I can smells, smell. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, spices. Maybe similar to the grow one on that one. No, the Vera was the spiced one. It was the Vera the spiced one, getting me. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm. because. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's like. Mm. It's nice, but it's just. It's not the. The burger flavor, though. It's for again, me. yeah. So the different well, spices. It's very spices that you can taste spices, but not the spices for the burger. I don't think necessarily. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't do what a burger. burger. Do. It doesn't convey burger. Yeah, exactly. That's good burger. Yeah. When you're um, when, when you're eating you're it. it, it just yeah. Even though the, the texture's there, obviously it's got a lot of flavor. Maybe if you are having a, a more of an Indian kind of a, a, an Eastern um, kind of meal. It would go well with it, but yeah. not as just a burger in a, in a bun for flavor. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so now, there's bits here. Um, so now, 
Um, number 10, MNS uh, Plant Kitchen, the no beef burger. So this is the, like, the thickest, the most kind of like substantial looking one. It almost looks like the, um, the Beyond Burger, kind yeah. of similar, kind of thick, you know, mm -hmm. looks the same in texture. It's bigger than the Beyond it, as well. It's bigger, yeah, and it's, it seems to have a more red look to it as well. Yeah. So this is wow, the uh, MNS Plant Kitchen, so the no beef. Thick. Yeah. So again, spices I can smell. Quite a neutral smell. Well, it's spices. A little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Maybe I cut through something. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm. Now that one, uh, that one's more, more my thing, I think. More burgery. Definitely more burgery. It's got a little sweetness Quite a bit of it. chew as well. A, a bit, bit of sweetness. Chew. It's it's a burger-esque flavour. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I, I think that's a really good one. Yeah, it's yeah. quite nice. Um, this is the M&S one. The yeah, M&S plant, plant, plant kitchen, kitchen, no beef mm. burger. Yeah. It is good. I do like mm. that. Then, my favourite last, from last time is the Moving Mountains mm. one. Oh, so did I pick the Naked Glory and you picked you the Moving Mountains? Yeah, mm -hmm. all right, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was my favorite last time, so let's see what it's like. So this is it pan fried, because last time I did bake it in the oven mm. and a lot of juices came out, but this time I fried it and not a lot of came out, so maybe it's juicier now, you know? Possibly, yeah. So let's, let's give it a go. It is definitely mm. more moist. You know um, what? I kind of burnt the edge a little bit, as you can, if you can see. Hi, Kitty. I've <laughs> burnt a little bit of edge on here, if you can see. So yeah. you can taste a little bit of burn on the edge. But other than that, it's not, I think I think there's actually maybe a little bit too much moisture in there now. Do you think? Yeah. Because I think it's not enough. I actually preferred right. how I baked it in the oven last time. There you go. So I think I would do it in the oven. Maybe I, like I say, I fried it too high of a heat and it kind of like, you know, um, burned the edge a little bit. Um, and the 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 moistness has pretty much gone because last time really? there was lots of moistness in it. Yeah. I, I still get quite a lot of moisture. Do you? Yeah. So what do you think? I actually like it. I think, um, Not I, I, think I think texture wise, it could be better. Um, it's, it doesn't have mm. the flavor of, of uh, the, what do they call it, the Naked Glory one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that one's just bursting with flavor. This one's a little, it doesn't kind of I think I, as I have plenty of flavor here. It's just the moistness is gone that I really liked a bit this time. I don't know why. And I've burnt it, so it's, I think I'm not, I've given it disadvantage this time. Um, and then the last one is Morrison's Ultimate Meat Free. So this was the most labor intensive and the most actually dry looking when I was kind of frying it um, because it needed searing on the on the frying pan for four minutes first and then you had to bake it in the oven for 20. So it's quite a bit of Whoa. intensive preparation for this one. Again, very thick. Thick, I, I yeah, substantial. The, the Beyond Burger and the... Um, the m &S, uh, Plant Kitchen Burger, similar yeah. kind of thing. Um, very dense, it looks quite dense, got a lot of texture. Yeah. At least so let's see if it's an ultimate, the or ultimate meat free, it says, from Morrison's. Mm -hmm. Texture's good. It's a little on the dry side for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not overly, I mean, it's not its not horrible at all, but I'm not overly keen on the flavor. Yeah, flavor's got a bit strange taste. I didn't get much of it, actually. I, I, I can't bit. place that because that's not, it's not spice or anything like that. It's quite a neutral flavor. <clears throat> yeah, so that was 12 Morrison's. We weren't kind of sure about the taste of it. Yeah, they, um, the, the the texture, texture and everything's everything. okay, yeah. Um, but yeah. So for me, I must say my the ones that I like the most so far was number one oomph. I think 
Number two, Naked Glory. I really like the number four, uh, one, six, wasn't it? The Grow. I, I liked the Grow Incredible Burger. Um, and then I'm a bit disappointed with the Moving Mountains because that was my favorite. But the way I think I, the way I cooked it, it just kind of spoiled it for me this time. Mm. So yeah, so I think I want to try the the three that I mentioned again myself to just try it. Oomph, did you like that or? Yeah, I, I wanted to compare the Oomph versus the Noble Quarter Pounder because they're both very similar. Yeah. And I thought trying them next to each other might just edge okay. it out. So this is Oomph we're trying this again. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd be happy with that any day. So this is number five, no bull you wanted to try next. Yeah, just next to it, just to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the oomph is really good. Okay. So this is the no bull quarter pounders again. Hey Kitty, you're making noise here. Uh-huh. I'm finding it very hard to separate those two. They're virtually identical in flavour and mouthfeel. Mm. Um, I think a slight, mm, yeah, it's hard. I slightly prefer the oomph, I think, just a little bit. The way these have been cooked, I would say I prefer the oomph just because the caramelisation on that on makes that it one a little bit tougher to is eat. It's getting stuck in that thing. Yeah. <laughs> but on flavor. A, any other day, I think I would have to draw these. Yeah, I think we would normally, you know, um, just bake the burgers anyway, not pan fry it. But mm. um, so that might not happen, you know. Mm. On the noble one. So try try number six again, the grow one, because you well, said you really one, like that one. Really like that and one. I, I want to try again because I can't quite. There's so many burgers; it's hard to keep <laughs> keep them all in your head. Yeah. Um, Mm. Nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's a very sweet one, that. Mm -hmm. I'll say. It's got a lot, lot of sweetness. Quite sweetness, to it. yeah. Um, so, if maybe if you're not quite as sweet tooth, you might not like that one. Yeah. And then as now, much. to to finish it off, do you think with the could Naked I, Glory? Could I compare the mm -hmm. Naked Glory versus mm -hmm. the MS Plant Kitchen one, please? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, because I think I've got this narrowed down to my my top three. Right. I just have. Mhm. Mm so, this is Naked Glory again. It's almost cold now. <laughs> it's cooled down quite a bit. Mhm. Nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Although I'll say the texture a little bit now, after comparing it to the others, mm -hmm. a little bit softer. It's yeah. not. It hasn't got quite the mouthfeel of the others. So yeah, consider that. But the flavour is really good. <clears throat> and then this is the uh, M&S Plant Kitchen. Um, no, the no beef burger again. I have to say that I do like that. Yeah? Yeah. To me, it has a bit of kind of the, the, um, le well, like split pea thing or spices or something a bit. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. Nice. But mm. it does have after taste, after flavor, a little bit. So yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, moving <laughs> mountains. I've uh, I've decimated you the way I cooked you this time. 
I'm having a hard time now with separating these. Um, the Vivera plant burger, did we like that one? No, it was like quite spicy, was like spice Indian. One? So which ones were the spiced ones? This one, that, that was Vivera. One. Maybe it's that one as well. Mm. The um, that was fries, was it? Fries, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Mm. I do like it. The moving mountains. It's still like my one of the top three, I think, um, burgers. But if I if I'm going by, you know, the way we tasted, the way I've prepared them today. Um, I think oomph is my number one. Number one was oomph and it's my number one I think. And then my second one would be the Grow, the Incredible Burger. That would be my second. And probably followed by either the Naked Glory or maybe the Noble Burger, something like that. I don't know about the, um, the Moving Mountains is somewhere there, but... Well, that's really quite interesting because I would still put Naked Glory at number one. Would you? Uh, because the first time we tried it, mm -hmm. when it was still hot out of the oven, yeah. it's fantastic. Um, once it gets cooled a little bit, yeah, it's not quite there. Yeah, so well, you shouldn't be eating cold burgers, I that, guess. Which is why I keep it, still keep it at number one because yeah. Then I think drawn second are number one and number five, which is the umph and, and the, the noble. They, they have to be. There's no way you can separate them. They're mm. virtually identical. Uh -huh. um, and then I would say third. Uh, I'm quite drawn to number ten. Are you? For number th number three, yeah. Even with the aftertaste. Yes, because it's so slight. I don't think it matters. Because if you were having that with, you know, some lettuce. You put a bit of sauce on. It's it's got everything else you need mm -hmm. to make a really nice burger. Um, yeah. So um, so yeah. So my number one is oomph. I think from this try. Um, number two will be probably the grow burger from the incredible from co-op the the incredible uh, grow burger. Um, and then uh, number three, I would say either the Naked Glory or the Moving Mountains. So that's kind of for, for me this time. Okay. So yeah, guys, let me know what is your number one. Because we couldn't even decide on the number one this time, right? It's very difficult. Um, yeah, it's a bit split, de split decision um, on quite a few of them. But we really liked all of the ones we kind of, you know, mentioned. I think we liked both of... Again, I don't think any of them are horrible. You know, they're, yeah. all, they're all okay, but a couple of them just didn't quite hit what yeah. was couple to be a of them, Yeah, a couple of them more, they were kind of more spiced or Indian spiced or some kind of spiced, um, almost too much for it to be like a, a burger quarter pounder type. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the, the video. I hope it gave you some ideas of, um, you know, of which ones you want to try. There you go. She's been interrupting our video throughout. Huh? If you want to be in the video, you should just say, you know. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up uh, for our effort trying all of these. And uh, if you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos, uh, vegan yummy dishes and also comparisons, vegan taste testings like this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And remember guys, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Exactly. Until next time guys. Bye guys.